Assalamualaikum, my name is Arif Ahmad bin Adam Malik and today I am going to present about pricing and revenue management. The role of pricing and revenue management in the supply chain. Revenue management is the use of pricing to increase the profit generated from a limited supply of supply chain assets. Supply asset exists in two forms, capacity and inventory. As we can see from the diagram, the five main steps in revenue management is data collection, segmentation, forecasting, decision making and optimization, and dynamic re-evaluation. The profitability of supply chain can be increased when following condition exists. The product value differs in different market segments. Demand has seasonal and other peaks. The product is highly perishable or product tends to be defective. The product is sold both in the bulk and the spot market. In this example, we can see that Malaysia Airlines group their customers into multiple segments. Malaysia Airlines design their pricing to make one segment pay more than the other. Malaysia Airlines control the demand so that the lower price segment does not use the complete asset that is available. Next, we will look up at the example of Uniqlo on their perishable assets. Apparel designed for particular season does not have much value in the end of the season. The manufacturer should try using the effective pricing strategy and predict the effect of it on customer demand to increase total profit. Here, the general takeoff is to demand high, high price initially and allow the remaining products to be sold later at lower price. Next, the example of seasonal demand is the sale of durian. The commonly used effective and efficient revenue management approach to cope with seasonal demand is to demand higher price during peak time duration and a lower price during off-peak time duration. This approach leads to transferring demand from peak to off-peak period. Large corporations such as Maiden use bulk and spot demands. There is a similar situation for the client who tends to make the buying decision for production, warehousing and transportation assets. Here, the basic payoff is between signing on a long-term bulk agreement with a fixed lower price that can be wasted if not used and buying in the spot market with higher price that can never be wasted. Next, we will see how pricing and revenue management can be used in practice. The first one is evaluate the market carefully. Next is quantify benefits of revenue management. The third one is implement a forecasting process. And the last one is integrate supply planning with revenue management. In conclusion, Pricing and revenue management is a critical aspect of supply chain management that can help companies maximize profit and create sustainable competitive advantages. By leveraging data, analytics and technology, companies can develop more complex pricing strategies that reflect changing market dynamics and customer behaviors. That's all from me. Thank you.